Kevin, I know that uh, Chelsea Manning is very much tied to this case as well, and you have reported it extensively on her case. You've also been live tweeting uh, throughout the court hearings. So can you talk about how Chelsea Manning was brought up in court, not just even uh, today if she was, but I know yesterday she was. If you could talk about some of the revelations we learned about that as well. Yeah, yesterday Chelsea Manning was quite the focus. I'd say that she's irritated and, and vexes the prosecutors. We heard uh, the prosecutor, uh, James Lewis, say that you know, she had made a self-serving statement during the court-martial back in 2013. Uh, this statement is just the statement of a co-conspirator that she's constantly trying to further and, and help Julian Assange and that we shouldn't trust this statement. But the defense is relying on it as, and these are their words, the best chronology for understanding Julian Assange's, uh, what happened with these disclosures to WikiLeaks. It's really the best record that we have publicly, but also it's clear that the defense is using it in order to guide their own uh, defense, uh, sorry, in, in order to guide their own rebuttals to what the prosecution uh, is putting forward. And the reason why it's such a problem for the prosecution is because Chelsea Manning's timeline does not match up with their timeline and also the arguments that they make about what Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning were doing together, which by the way, let's be clear, we have a source, Chelsea Manning, and we have Julian Assange, the journalist. So when we're talking about this, we're talking about a timeline of events between a source and a journalist, and, and they want to say, no, we actually have a timeline of events between a hacker and someone who's an insider who WikiLeaks was recruiting and turning into a spy who would go through databases that she was able to, to crack passwords to get into or just had access. She could abuse her access and then she could release these files. And the focus of their allegations is this most wanted leaks list from 2009 that has a bunch of different documents that most people have no idea what they are, but they were uh, they were suggested based on the interest of journalists, human rights activists, people who were uh, involved in non-governmental organizations. These were what governments were trying to conceal from the public at the time, and they related to high-profile events like wars that were unfolding, conflicts, um, etc. And they want to say that Chelsea Manning used this as a roadmap. It didn't work in 2013. I um, mean, Nathan can speak to this more. But uh, when you know David Coombs, her attorney, was defending Chelsea in the court martial, he made it very clear that this was not any part of the defense that could hold up. And the prosecution really didn't go that hard at this. It's incredible to me that the prosecution against Julian Assange is not only recycling a case against uh, that that was used against Chelsea Manning, recycling it to use it against the journalist in this case, but is also going even a step further to then use this most wanted leaks list as a way to go after Chelsea Manning. And like I said, it doesn't match up. We heard the defense go through each of these sets that were released, which for people who are following along, just to make sure everyone understands what we're discussing, we're talking about the Afghan war logs, the Iraq war logs, the U.S. state embassy cables, the detainee assessment briefs, and we're talking about these rules of engagement files that were disclosed along with the collateral. The defense very meticulously went through in such a way to make sure that the judge understood that all of these files had their own reasons for being disclosed the motivation that Chelsea Manning had was not connected to Julian Assange, was not connected to whatever Julian Assange wanted to accomplish. It was all about what Chelsea Manning wanted to do alone. This is her agency. But as you can hear in the prosecution's argument, the entire time that they're making these statements in court, they have to remove agency from Chelsea Manning. They have to say Julian Assange is this anti-American, hostile, hacktivist, 
person who wants to destroy intelligence agencies. You know, we know Mike Pompeo calls WikiLeaks this non-state hostile intelligence agency. So they treat WikiLeaks like a organization that's at war with the United States. And to them, Chelsea Manning's a recruit who can't think for herself. And even today, while she sits in a jail cell in Alexandria, Virginia, having uh, tallied up over $325,000 in fines because of her resistance, having been in jail for um, hundreds of days now, uh, we're fast approaching the year long, the, the, the date that marks a year in her resistance, they still believe that that is not something she's doing on her own, that she has been put up to this and is doing it to serve Assange and WikiLeaks.